The warning that Iran was preparing to launch ballistic missiles at Israel came only hours before the attack itself. In Tel Aviv, a constant streak of interceptions filled the night sky as waves of missiles came in. Cars stopped by the side of the road as sirens sounded and people took shelter where they could. This has felt like a big attack because of the volume of incoming missiles, but the fact it's been in numerous waves as well. Uh, it hasn't just been a, a one-off attack. Millions went to their safe rooms across central Israel under orders from the military. As Israel's security cabinet was meeting in an underground bunker, Jerusalem was also under attack. Loud booms could be heard across the city. The Israeli military said they will respond. We are both on the defensive and offensive. We are going to protect the citizens of Israel. There will be implications to these launches and we will retaliate whenever and wherever we choose to do so. A shower of missiles came down on or near the Nevatim Air Base in southern Israel. The IDF hasn't said whether there was any damage. In Gadara, south of Tel Aviv, a school was hit, leaving large craters. No one was injured. In Gaza, Palestinians cheered and whistled as the missiles came in towards Israel. The only person reported killed was a Palestinian near Jericho in the West Bank. Falling debris started fires in the area. Minutes before Iran's barrage, six people were killed and nine wounded in a terror attack in Jaffa on the edge of Tel Aviv. Two gunmen reportedly opened fire near a tram station. Earlier in the afternoon, Israel's prime minister had told the country to prepare for difficult days ahead. Iran made a major mistake this evening and it will pay for it. The regime in Iran just doesn't understand our determination to defend ourselves and our determination to retaliate to our enemies. Hezbollah has also fired missiles into Israel today. One landed on a main highway close to Tel Aviv. Three people were injured. We saw the military clearing the debris as we drove through on our way north. The strike shows that Hezbollah is still capable of firing long-range weapons, and it has now been joined by its powerful backer, Iran. For a long time, many had been warning that this war could spiral out of control. It now looks like that is what's happening. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Israel.